from 3D printed protective face shields to meal deliveries, volunteer groups in the country are stepping up to help medical workers on the front line of the campaign against the coronavirus. After reports of medical staff facing a shortage of personal protective gear, William Kong and his friends quickly gathered an army of volunteers to produce hundreds of face shields at a workshop with 3D printing and carving machines. The demand for this is very, very high. So by average, every hospital needs about 40,000 pieces of PPE set. That means not only face shield, Tyvek suit, mask, goggles, uh, shoe covers and gloves, 40,000 of sets uh, a month. So that's only one hospital and they are reducing that rate. So that means they are meant to actually standard to throw it, to replace it every 20 patients. Now they, are, they, are, they can only do it in days, like how many days then, you know? Because the whole theory of when you have it is better than not having it at all. Kong is a member of the Volunteer Collective, which is one of many groups in Malaysia volunteering to make personal protective equipment. Another group, Just Serving, is preparing meals to be delivered to frontline staff working overtime in hospitals and clinics. The objective is to recognise the frontliners who are sacrificing their time, risking their lives just to keep us all safe. And I know it's not a very comfortable thing wearing all those suits and we also found out that they have an issue with getting meals. In fact, many of them were just uh, living off coffee. And so it's just our way of giving back to them for what they have done for us. The health ministry has said at least 80 Malaysian health workers have been infected by the virus. The World Health Organization has warned that medical workers are dangerously ill-equipped to fight the virus, with many also facing the huge pressure of living under lockdown.